Hey guys, thank you again for tuning in. This is me again, JP. I am currently teaching in New Mexico, USA as an English language arts teacher. With the emergence of online teaching or online education, here comes the virtual classroom faving its way. With that being said, today in this video, I'm going to teach or show you how to create your Bitmoji virtual classroom in Google Slides. Okay, so here we go. Let's start. Okay, first step is um, you must be in your Google browser to begin with this tutorial okay and let's start now so if you can see at the top right of your screen you can see this icon right here if you click that uh, it says Google Apps okay and you have to click that and you can see inside there are applications scroll down a little bit and you have to click slides Okay, then this is what you can see now. Then after that, you have to click the blank one to start a new presentation. So if you can see, there are some other options like templates for you to start with your Google Slides or your presentation through your Google Slides. But in our case, to create our Bitmoji virtual classroom, we have to click the blank one. Okay then inside this is now your Google slide your first slide um, we have to erase these text boxes here okay to make the slide empty or plain white okay and let us title this presentation with virtual classroom okay then after that um, before we begin creating our classrooms here, inserting some objects, we have to add the Bitmoji extension first. So in a new tab, you have to search for Bitmoji extension. Then click this. Then if you can see right now, since Bitmoji is already part of my extension, then you can see right now, remove from Chrome. However, if you don't have this extension in your Google Chrome or browser, you can see right here, add extension. Okay, so all you have to do is, or click add extension, okay? Then you would know that it is already part of the extension when you can see at the top right of your screen, you can see this icon right here, green icon, uh, green and white icon here, it says Bitmoji, okay? If you click that, you can find my Bitmoji icons here and at the top you can see the search box okay if I want to search a specific Bitmoji that I would like to um, use in my classroom okay so that means I have that extension already so we can start or begin creating our classroom now okay so our next step is we have to click background here at the top then choose image then we have to click Google image search so here then I have to search for um, wall and floor background okay so as you can see right now we have some options here that you may choose to be the background of your classroom and for my classroom I would like to use the first one okay click the object or the picture then you can see below the word insert so you have to click insert then you can see right now this is now the background of my classroom okay and the next thing that I'm going to do is I need to click insert okay so every time you are going to insert something like any objects as part of your classroom then all you have to click is at the top you can see the option insert then below or under insert the tab insert then you have to choose email and you can see right here you have some options for you to insert an object or a photo for your classroom so we're going to click search the web okay so you can see right now search for images a search box at the top right I'm going to insert is whiteboard for 
my classroom okay so whiteboard here click that then we have some options here then I would like to use this one so click the object or the picture then click insert okay here it is now the size of the picture or of the whiteboard is bigger then we have to resize it or adjust it you can drag it up and down okay to change the size of the object then move it by the way you may use your scroll up and down left and right to move your object so it would be easier for you to move your object okay inside your classroom Okay, then we have now the whiteboard then if you would like to insert some text in your whiteboard or anywhere inside your virtual classroom then just click this icon right here it has letter T on it it says text box so click it then put it right here okay so we have now the text box that means that we have now an option to put a text in our classroom or on the whiteboard so for instance I'm going to type here welcome back to school okay then if I want to make the text bigger then I have to click this icon right here the plus sign to increase the font size okay then if I want to change the alignment of the text just click the three dots here that means more options then click align then I would like to put my text at the center of the white screen or the whiteboard then click the center alignment so here it is now okay and after that uh, I would like to go to insert again um, image search from the web and I would like to insert accounts for my classroom so we have here some options I would like to use this click the object and click insert and you can see the object right now you can adjust it you can change the size okay um, just a reminder that if you insert an object from search from the web you have to include typing transparent or clip art because if you don't use transparent you may see that your object has some backgrounds around it okay so if you type for instance scouts transparent clip art then you will be having some pictures that don't have any backgrounds on it okay just like um, the couch that I have right now in my classroom okay so that's a keyword transparent clip art when you search an object for your classroom okay then I want now to insert my bitmoji to be part of my classroom right now so I will click that icon at the top right bitmoji click that then I would like my bitmoji to be um, sitting on the couch so I will be typing here sitting bitmoji so I have here a bitmoji that is sitting so I'm going to click that right click um, copy image and paste it in your classroom okay so I have now my bitmoji here adjust it So you can see right now that my Bitmoji is sitting on the couch. 
que you can always adjust so the same process you will be doing okay until you are done creating your classroom just always go to insert image and search from the web okay so the same process you will be doing until you are done creating your classroom assuming you are done creating your classroom so what we're going to do next is you have some options okay so if you want to present it so you can start the presentation by clicking the word present at the top right okay so you can present that another option is if you would like to save it to your computer okay as PowerPoint presentation so you can go to file then under file download then under download click Microsoft PowerPoint so when you click that you can see right now that it is being downloaded as PowerPoint presentation so from there from your PowerPoint presentation um, you may save it to your computer okay or another option is if you want to know where it is also saved aside from being saved in your computer you may also click this icon right here the slides home when you click that you may see that under the recent presentations one of those presentations below is the one we created earlier that means that you can see or you can find your created Google Slides through here okay or another way of checking back or getting back on your created Google Slides is by clicking on this Google Apps right here click that and if you click Drive so you can also see okay the one I created earlier so under your Drive or Google Drive okay so those are ways where you can still find it okay so I guess that's it